I'm Lynn. And I'm Mark. And we're glad you joined us today. Welcome to the Digital Marketing Hot Seat Podcast. Where small business owners ask us their number one pain point digital marketing question. And put us in the hot seat. Hi, I'm Lynn Smarges, and I'm a content writer specializing in ghostwriting, podcast production, and SEO website content. And I'm Mark Thackeray, and I specialize in social media marketing, specifically Facebook and Instagram ads, email marketing, and email automation. I'm ready, Mark. Are you ready? I sure am. Let's do this. Hey, small business owners. Mark and I are so glad you joined us again for another episode of the Digital Marketing Hot Seat Podcast. And if you're new to our podcast, welcome, welcome. Please share our podcast with another small business owner so they can get some awesome information on how to market, do digital marketing for their small business. In our podcast, you get to listen to small business owners putting Mark and me in the hot seat to answer their digital marketing questions. And you also get Digital Marketing 101 episodes, which is what which is what this is. And Mark and I are going to give you some information on the importance of having a branded hashtag for your business or platform. But before we jump into the episode today, Mark, how's your digital marketing going this week? And what client work has your attention? Oh, it's been going really well, really well. Yeah. One thing that we're focusing on with one particular client is just as re- reviewing all their ad buys, you know, and just looking at their paid campaigns and what we can do to uh, maximize their return on those campaigns. So, so is that starting a new one? Is that, um, you know, we've got several campaigns going for them, but uh, can we, how can we increase their, you know, click through rate? How can we increase their conversion ultimately? Um, and so that's something that we do quite a bit is just look at that whole process from, from a customer journey standpoint. So if a customer is coming and learning about what it is that they, what, you know, your product or service, and then they go and they search it in Google and it comes up on an ad and they click on the ad, you know, that whole experience, that whole journey, um, looking to improve, you know, even just three to 5% at, at each step, you know, so when it comes on the landing page, can we improve conversions by three to 5%? And when they get to, when they get to, um, or when they, when they pull you up on Google on the search, can they, can we improve that click through rate by three to 5%? And then when they click through the landing page, can we improve signups by three to 5%, whether that's for a lead magnet or for the actual sale, you know, and there's just, there's lots of little things that you can do to, to optimize those. So that's what we're, that's what we're busy focused on this week. So very fun, but Lynn, how, how's your, how's your week been going? I know you've been busy with lots of things, uh, but what is, what's one thing that's got your attention this week? Yeah. So this past week, as we're recording this, we moved to Oregon from Utah. So, <laughs> so that was that was big. But um, yeah, one of my newer clients I'm really excited about. She and I believe I may have talked about this on a previous episode, but um, I'm helping her with website content and also blog content um, and also social media. But she eventually wants to do a podcast. So I'm also helping her with podcast production. And yeah, I love like just having clients long term and really like like you said, helping them with their client journey and just helping them build their business, you know, out to, you know, realize the potential that they have and how many people they can reach with a podcast. And so that's always really exciting. So I'm I'm really glad I have that client and I'm working with her and really appreciating the opportunity to work together. Awesome. That is awesome. Awesome. Well, let's, let's, let me share a little bit. So these, you mentioned that we have these digital marketing one-on-one episodes, right? And so for those that are maybe new to the podcast or haven't, don't know what that is. So these, these digital marketing one-on-one episodes are basically overviews of various aspects of, of digital marketing. So, and our goal with these is to help you feel confident about what those are, you know, what digital marketing is essentially, and the various components of digital marketing so that you can identify which, which pieces you want to add to your marketing puzzle, so to speak, you know, to your tool belt um, with the goal of increasing exposure, increasing customers and revenue and all that. So, so that's what these digital marketing uh, 101 episodes are, is taking a specific topic and going a, a little bit deeper with that so that you feel knowledgeable in that area and can make a better decision moving forward if it's, if it's right for your business. Um, so Lynn, with that, in, with that out of the way, what is, and you mentioned this before, what, just remind our listeners, what is the topic for this week? 
Yes. So this week, I'm really excited about it because we're going to talk about why you want a branded hashtag, not just using hashtags, but a branded hashtag for your business. So we are start off with talking about what is a branded hashtag? Because a lot of people have seen hashtags. They know people use them, but a lot of people don't know how to use them. We're actually going to go over that in a different episode. But what is a branded hashtag specifically? So if you've ever been to a conference or an expo, and this is like the easiest example I can think of. Um, so I had one I was recently at, it was called She Podcast, and it was a podcast conference for women podcasters. And so their hashtag when you posted it in social media was hashtag She Podcast 2021. Now, if you are, if you grew up before social media, like Mark and I, a hashtag is also known as the pound sign. <laughs> mm-hmm. yep. So when you see the pound sign, that is the hashtag with a um, term or phrase right after it with no spaces. That is a hashtag. So a branded hashtag is like that one I just mentioned for She Podcast. So that event, when you put hashtag She Podcast 2021, when you tag your posts with that, they will see that because in their feed, they probably are following their own hashtag because with the branded hashtags, with any hashtag really, but a branded hashtag um, is really great because it defines your business from other businesses. So that's really important for a branded hashtag. Um, And you can create a branded hashtag by looking around, seeing what other people in your category or vertical are using for hashtags because you don't want to use the same hashtag for your brand and then create a hashtag that is specifically for your brand that nobody else is using. So Mark, what would you like to add about branded hashtags to that? Well, and it doesn't have to be, you know, I think what's cool about branded hashtags and we'll we'll probably dive into this a little bit after the, after the break, but uh, is that it's, they can be very, you can be creative with these, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, in our case, it doesn't have to be the digital marketing hot seat podcast. That's that doesn't have to be that, you know, I mean, it could be something different. Um, and I think that's, what's fun about it is that you can, you can help shed light on, on your business in a different way, um, by using a, a, a unique branded hashtag. You know, I, th- we've, I've seen some where, um, I forget who it was, but it was a restaurant that uh, a well-known restaurant. And it, instead of just their name as their branded hashtag, it was let's do dinner or something like that, you know, or dinner with friends or something like that. And it was very creative because it, it, it spoke more to the end result, which is, you know, being among people that you love and, and, you know, breaking bread and, and all that, having that good experience. And so I think that's, what's cool. That's, that's the opportunity with a branded hashtag is to uh, provide a little bit more of an experience than just, just your name. So that's all I'll say now, but then we can talk about it more after the break. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. So we're going to take a little break right now. But before we jump into the last half of our show, before we take our break, Mark and I want to invite you to subscribe to the Digital Marketing Hot Seat Podcast on your favorite podcast player. And please also leave us a review on your favorite podcast player as well. The more reviews that we have, the more other people can find the Digital Marketing Hot Seat Podcast and help them build their small business digital marketing. In addition, we invite you to watch our video on both of our social media channels. You can find myself at Right For You Content Creation on YouTube, and you can find Mark on Facebook at Mark Thackeray Group. As always, the links mentioned are going to be in the show notes underneath the album cover. So scroll underneath the album cover and click on the links and follow both Mark and I. Do you need more people visiting your website? Are you looking for higher ranking on Google searches? Or are you frustrated by the ever-changing rules of social media? Mark and I are here to take away the headaches and stress of digital marketing with services such as website content, social media ads, and website SEO. We can provide the digital marketing magic you need to increase the number of people seeing your website and clicking on your business links. Visit our website at www.digitalmarketinghotseat.com and hit us up on our contact page to reserve your complimentary consult. Find out how our marketing team can take the worry and hassle of digital marketing off of your plate and onto ours. All right. So before the break, Mark and I talked about you know, what is a branded hashtag and, you know, what you want to do with it, how you can create a branded hashtag, but why do you want a branded hashtag? Because there's no purpose in making a branded hashtag if you don't know why. So one of the important things about branded hashtags is that you, when you look for or search for a branded hashtag. So for example, if you search for our branded hashtag, hashtag digital marketing hot seat, you can find 
every post we've put on social media or everything that we have tagged with that hashtag. And with the different platforms, if you are not on multiple social media platforms, some of them have limited, well, they all have limited characters. Some of them are more than others. And also there's probably more than one person in your vertical. So it's really hard to get the same handle across multiple platforms. I mean, you can have variations of your handle, but with a branded hashtag, all you have to tell people is to say, hey, look up hashtag digital marketing hot seat, and they will find you on every channel, no matter what your handle, handle means your name, is on your different social media channels. So it's a really powerful tool to help people find you. Now, of course, you have to use that, your branded hashtag for people to find you. If you're not using it, they're not going to find you. But one of the great things about social media posts is you can actually go back in and edit your posts and add your new branded hashtag to all your social media posts. And then that way people will find everything that you have posted underneath that hashtag. So Mark, what would you like to add to that? Yeah, I think another reason, you know, a few things come to mind when I'm thinking of a branded hashtag is that one is it allows you to build a community, you know, so it, it, and it's, and this is what's neat about social media is that it's a two-way conversation. It's not just one directional, you know, you think of uh, like Google ads and things like that. I mean, those are very one directional. You think of TV and, and radio, those are very one directional traditional media is like that, but with social media it allows for more of a conversation, you know, more of a dialogue. And when you use a branded hashtag, you know, you're, you're, and uh, you're going to, you're encouraging people to create their own content, you know, which is very important nowadays is this, this idea of what's, what's known as user generated content. So people that, that will create, you know, they'll, they'll post something that, that pertains to your brand or your company, and they'll use your branded hashtag, you know, to, to make mention of that either to other people or to catch your attention as the business owner. And that's, what's cool is that you can build this community of, of like-minded people that share that, that passion or share that interest, you know? So that's one thing that really sticks out to me when we're talking about branded hashtags. Another is that you, it, it increases when you do that, it increases engagement. You know, they've studies have shown that just using hashtags in general, uh, result in 12.6 more engagement for those posts, um, which is always a big big component when you're trying to measure the effectiveness of your social media is, is you're always looking at engagement, you know, because it, the more engagement that you get, the more likely that you are, your content will be shown to other people, other audiences, even new audiences. And so it has to be engagement is kind of like your number one, you know, I mean, you have to have that. Otherwise it's your efforts won't be rewarded really. Um, and so, and, and when you have a branded hashtag, like I mentioned, it helps helps people, helps encourage them to participate in that community, to share, to help, help contribute to your story. And that's kind of the last thing that I'd say is that it, it helps, helps round out what your story is as a business. You know, if you go and, and like Lynn was talking about, if you search a specific hashtag, you can, especially a branded hashtag, you can find out so much about that business, you know, and there's, there were examples that I shared earlier, um, you know, of, of some creative ones. And I'm just, I looked up some earlier too. And I, I thought some of these were really cool. So the Red Bull has one that's called hashtag put a can on it, all one, all one word hashtag. So they'll, they'll take pictures of, you know, a Red Bull can in these bizarro places or very remote places. So it could be in uh, way out in, in Iceland, you know, and it's out on this frozen tundra or this lake and there's this red volcano and there's nobody in sight. Obviously it's miles away from civilization. And so it's just this idea of, uh, you know, Red Bull everywhere type thing, you know, and it contributes to the story of what Red Bull is. And, and as people take that, they can run with that. And that's really where it gets exciting is that when, when they latch onto that idea or that vision, then they're going to put their own spin on it. And it's going to go so much further than if you were just trying to push that out yourself. So that's, that's one of the things that I absolutely love about this is that it can help, help round out, um, a story and help create new, new chapters of your story. So Cool. Anything yeah. else that you would want to say with that, Lynn? Yeah, I was going to say, there's two other examples I thought of when you were talking about Red Bull. One is the national park system has a hashtag find your park. So yeah. I, I put that on all my national park um, yep, socials. And then also um, Delta has hashtag Sky Miles Life. And if you actually use the Delta yeah. hashtag, I know you, they'll, you when you tag it with that, 
hashtag you, that picture will be entered. And then your picture might be featured on their um, little, you know, on their little vision thing. But I wanted, wanted to bring this in today. And I've just found this a little while ago. It's so funny. So if you, if you've never played badminton before, and for those who are listening and not seeing the video, this is a badminton birdie that is literally bigger than my head. I mean, this thing is like almost a foot bigger. So this I want to use as Actually, a comparison. Actually, Lynn, Lynn is just really that small. That's that's it. she's just a tiny person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. No, I have a really big head, and this is even probably bigger than my head. <laughs> but but using a regular hashtag is like you know is good. Is using like a regular birdie, but using a branded hashtag is like using one of these ginormous birdies for your badminton game. You can't miss it. You just can't. And the cool thing is that you know, you can ask people to follow your branded hashtag. And when they do, your posts will all come up on their feed. It doesn't matter if it's LinkedIn, Instagram, you can follow anybody. You can ask somebody to follow your hashtag on almost any platform. So that's really, really powerful with, with branded hashtags. So Mark, this was an awesome episode. I love talking about hashtags and, and social media, but what can our listeners expect on our next episode and video for the Digital Marketing Hot Seat Podcast? Yeah. So uh, next episode, we are going to have another uh, digital marketing 101 episode uh, where we're going to talk about creating a simple digital marketing plan that works for your time and around your budget. So very simple um, and it can be very, very powerful. And that's, I don't want to, it sounds, it, it's one of those things that when you say it, it's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Everyone kind of knows that's what they need to do, but don't <laughs> underestimate how powerful this can be as taking a little time to define what your goals are, what you're going to do. Um, and then just following through with that can tr- dramatically uh, change the trajectory of your business. So very excited yeah. to talk about that. Yeah. So how, yeah, I find like having a simple digital marketing plan is similar to like making life healthy lifestyle changes, right? You go out walking yeah. every day and you have more energy, you have more, it's the same thing with creating your simple digital marketing plan. It's like making healthy lifestyle torches for your personal life, but you're doing it for your business life. So I, I love it. I love it. All right, friends. Remember, if you have any questions, please reach out to Mark or I, or if you'd like to be on the show, come visit us at www.digitalmarketinghotseat.com and fill out our interview form. We'd love to have you on and we'd love to have you as a guest on the Digital Marketing Hot Seat podcast. We're so glad you joined us on today's episode. Tune in each week for a new Digital Marketing Hot Seat question from a small business owner just like you. And if you're interested in being a guest on our podcast, go to Digital Marketing Hot seat.com and fill out our interview form. And remember, make sure to like and subscribe to the Digital Marketing Hot Seat Podcast on your favorite podcast player. 